What's up people, it's me! And today what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through a little quiz, a little survey quiz. It's to figure out what your best summer hairstyle is. Because I know a lot of you are like, Alex, what do I do with my hair? And I'm just like, I don't know, like, you can do what I do if you want. So I'm gonna let you know today by taking this survey what hairstyle best fits me for the summertime. Because summer's fun, summer's, you know, warm hopefully where you are. We're going to answer a list of questions. And if my answers are similar to yours, then you could totally rock what I do. And maybe for a later beauty video, I can do a tutorial on that hairstyle that I picked up. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? All right, so question number one is, how much time do you spend getting ready in the morning? Long time. And the choices are 30 minutes, an hour, five minutes, <laughs> or 15 minutes. Honestly, if I'm being realistic here, ladies, be realistic, be honest. I would have to go with uh, an hour, at least. Question number two. Your beauty product stash makes you, number one, minimal. Number two, trendy. Number three, overwhelming. And number four, random, which is just my personality anyway. Hey. You know, LA, strangers look inside your window all the time. So, uh, I'm gonna have to go with minimal, because I don't really get that many beauty products. If you do, then you're probably better at beauty than I am. I honestly just get the few things that I need, and I use those over and over again until I decide I wanna change it up. Number three, your favorite summer activity is, number one, going to parties on the weekends with your friends. Number two, hitting outdoor malls and flea markets. Number three, getting tan by the pool. Number four, playing mini golf and tennis. I don't know why they added the and tennis in there, or if you just wanted to do mini golf. <laughs> I don't know. I'm um, pretty bad at both. But I would have to say going to parties with friends. I like to hang out with my friends in general. Number four. The last hair product you bought was... Number one, a pack of elastics. I think those are probably rubber bands is what they mean. Like, number two, hairspray. Number three, a shine enhancing volume boosting serum. And number four, a flat iron. Last thing I got was hairspray, probably because I needed it. I have a hard time not using hairspray in my hair because when I tease my hair, which is what I do every single day, I want it to stay and mine just doesn't stay. So I have to hairspray. And if I don't have hairspray, then it's like a really, really sad day for me. Number five, when it comes to hair accessories, you, number one, like wearing unique things like a funkus scarf. Number two, eh, don't bother. Don't bother with my hair. Number three, you rock a cute headband now and then. Number four, you need to stop yourself from wearing too many at once. I don't know if you've seen me on the internet ever and what I do with my hair, but I never have anything in my hair. The only thing I've ever had is like, I put a hat on and I don't even wear hats, I just wear them for videos sometimes because it's fun. I would go with don't bother. I don't think I'm adventurous enough or risky enough to uh, put any crazy things in my hair because I think it's just cooler when it's natural. That's just my opinion. All right, question number six. Let's get down and dirty, shall we? Which celeb has the best hair? <sighs> All right, time to judge, people. Number one, Taylor Swift. Number two, Paris Hilton. Number three, Rihanna. And number four, Amanda Bynes. Kind of a random mixture of hairstyles there. I bet you probably wouldn't guess this from a human being like myself. I mean, Taylor Swift's hair is pretty common. It's just straight. Paris Hilton's just meh. Amanda Bynes, I don't really know too much about her hairstyle. She kind of went out of the picture until she went crazy. Um, and then there's Rihanna, who I think is like beautiful. She rocks her hair. And you know what, good for her for like being so unique. I'd be too scared to rock a hairstyle like that. If you can do the Rihanna hairstyle, then like go for it because that's really cool. So I'm gonna have to go with Rihanna because I think she has really cool hair. Question number seven. If you're running late and don't have time to wash your hair, what do you do? Do you pin the front pieces back and then curl the rest of it? Do you style it in two braids? Do you put it up in a high messy bun? Or do you throw it back in a pony? <sighs> I'm gonna have to go with throw it up in a high messy bun because everything else is too much effort. Usually if I haven't washed my hair in a while, it's probably because I'm feeling pretty lazy. Number eight, how often do you change your hairstyle? Number one, every day. Number two, a few times a week. Number three, a couple of times a year. And number four, never. Now I do change my hairstyle sometimes. What am I doing today? Kind of this bump thing going on with some curls. Yeah, I would say probably a few times a week. All right, so I have my results. And for me, the survey said that I should go for glam curls this summer. Glam curls! That sounds a little scary. I feel like I do curls a lot. This is curls. And you know what? I don't mind that because it's not too crazy. And I think curls are cute and fun and flirty. And if you do it right, they actually give you a little bit of volume and oomph. 
So if you want to see me do a tutorial of that hairstyle, just let me know in the comment section below. And I also want to hear your answers for some of the questions that I answered in this survey. And speaking of this survey that I did, there's this really cool website that I wanted to tell you about. It's called Opinion Outpost. So this website is like the coolest thing ever. You can take surveys and basically give your opinions on certain subjects, which is what we just did in this video. I took a quiz, a survey, and uh, it was easy and kind of fun. And really just time well spent because guess what? On these surveys that they're going to give you, you will get paid and rewarded. Like you get free stuff for uh, just giving your opinion. How cool is that? It's the coolest thing ever. I thought it was really neat because I just started using it and um, I wanted to kind of introduce that to you because I wanted you guys to know about it. You know, I might as well get paid for chilling out. <laughs> Right? And don't worry, it's not anything like a get-rich-quick scheme or anything. But what it is is that it's real research that's being done by big companies. They ask you questions on your opinions on anything. It's not difficult. They use that for research studies and you get paid for it. And what's really exciting is that they have a $10,000 giveaway every three months. So like, what? Oh, I'm just like, you know, tapping away, tapping away, saying what I feel about certain things, you know. Just my opinions straight from my brain and then BAM! $10,000. What? It's free, by the way, it's free to sign up. So what I want you guys to do, because I want you guys to have the same opportunity that I have, I think everyone should know about this thing, is down below in the description, the first little link is going to be a link to that website, and all you have to do is sign up. So thank you for spending this time with me. I love you all so much. Yeah, have an amazing time with whatever you're doing right now. Just continue to do that. Just do that. Okay, bye!